the gross and microscopic findings in acute myocardial infarction. So, immediately after complete cessation of blood flow to the myocardium, eventually we will see the gross findings as well as microscopic findings. So, we need to know in detail about how these changes occurs as the time passes. After complete cessation of the blood flow, that is if you talk about during the first 24 hours, first 24 hours after the acute myocardial infarction, remember that there are no gross, no gross findings. No gross findings are seen until 24 hours except some kind of a like uh, mottling of the tissue you can identify. But there is no clear cut evidence you can see on the myocardium as well as coagulative necrosis. Coagulative necrosis starts appear from 12 hours and evident only after 24 hours. So, after after 24 hours, after the acute myocardial infarction, you can actually see the coagulative necrosis which is predominantly we can identify, but it starts uh, like appear from 12 to 24 hours. And also at the same time, the third important finding you will see from 1 to 24 hours is the neutrophils begin to enter the area of infarction. Neutrophils began to enter. Neutrophils begin to enter the infected area from the periphery. So, neutrophils begin to enter the infected, infected area. So, these are the important findings what you will see from first hour to 24 hours. So, these are the findings what we can see over here. What about from first day to 3 days? What are the findings we will see? This is the second one. This is the first one. 1 hour to 24 hours from day 1 to day 3. So, we can clearly identify the coagulative necrosis. So, you can see the pallor of the infected tissue which is apparent that is pallor of infected tissue which is pallor of the infected tissue which is clearly seen. You can see the pallor over here in this uh, gross image and the myocyte nuclei and striations disappear. This is an important marker to explain uh, the irreversible process. The myocyte nuclei, the myocyte nuclei as well as striations disappear and striations, striations disappear. Okay, this is another important finding and the neutrophils are abundant because we know during acute inflammatory process that is first 72 hours of the acute inflammation there will be a neutrophilia right and the neutrophils are predominantly seen in the inflamed area that is the reason neutrophils are abundant and contribute to the lysis of dead myocardial cells. So, neutrophils, neutrophils are predominant. Neutrophils are predominant in this particular time, right? So, this is what you will see from day 1 to day 3. Next is during days 3 to 7. What are the changes we can see during day 3 to 7? The first what you can see over here is red granulation tissue can be seen that surrounds the area of infection. So, red granulation tissue that surrounds surrounds infected area. 
in factor area. So, the red granulation tissue start appear after day 3 is an important MCQ point. Red granulation tissue that surrounds the infected area that begin after day 3 because by the end of day 3 there is no more acute inflammation and chronic inflammation starts after day 3. So, after what happens is after day 3 the neutrophils are removed because the lifespan of the neutrophils is completed and the macrophages start appear to this area to the inflammatory area. So, these macrophages begin to remove the necrotic debris. So, macrophages begin to remove necrotic debris. Macrophages begin to remove necrotic debris that is what you will see from days 3 to 7 and remember that this particular period it is most dangerous time for the myocardial rupture to take place that is the reason whenever you see the question what is the most dangerous time after acute myocardial infarction so your answer should be days 3 to day 7 because it is the time where the myocardium undergo rupture and causes cardiac tamponade and leads to sudden cardiac death so there's a reason this is a very very critical time after an acute myocardial infarction so next is from day 7 to 10th days 7th to 10th this is the third event this is the fourth one day 7 to day 10 so the necrotic area is bright yellow that is what you will see so every point is very very important for mcqs because specifically they will ask you the same thing at what time you will see the necrotic area after acute myocardial infarction which is yellow in color then your answer should be 7 to 10 days so here the necrotic area the necrotic area is bright yellow in color right bright yellow so this is the mcq point bright yellow the necrotic area is bright yellow approximately from day 7 to day 10 after acute myocardial infarction and there will be a formation of granulation tissue granulation tissue so, in the question they will ask you the granulation tissue start appear after day 7 right approximately till day 10. So, this what is a granulation tissue you can see in the image this granulation tissue which is red rim around the yellow and collagen formation uh, is well developed over this area this is called as the granulation tissue. So, the granulation tissue can also be seen from day 7 to day 10. So, these are the important points you need to remember for 7 to 10 days and next what about over 2 months after 10 days after 2 weeks to 2 months over 2 months. So, the infected area is completely replaced by the white patchy non-contractile scar tissue. So, scar tissue scar tissue approximately after 2 months important MCQ point. The necrotic area the infected area is completely replaced by the non-contractile scar tissue as the amount of the scar increases. So, the chronic ischemic heart disease is uh, likely to occur because this leads to the development of congestive heart failure that is biventricular congestive heart failure may be seen. So, these are all the gross as well as uh, microscopic changes what you will see under like acute myocardial infarction as the time passes approximately from 1 hour to 2 months.